How is everybody doing? Legend here. Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So uh, last episode we went through the uh, little mini game, uh, seeking, sneaky mini, uh, mini game to uh, get to the castle courtyard. And we're finally here with uh, Princess Zelda, so let's see what she has to say, shall we? Oh, it is, sir. Man, I was wondering. Who? Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Wow. Oh, what's that? Is that... A fairy? Then... Are you... Are you from the forest? Then... Then you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Do you have it? I don't. Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, a dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I'm Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? My name is Dot 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 Dot. Link. Strange. It sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please, keep this a secret from everyone. Okay. I like how she just met us and like she's revealing everything. The legend goes like this. Like she just met us. They just met this random kid who came through her fucking courtyard and she's gonna tell the mighty legend. The three goddesses hit the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it would lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has, a w has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. So, the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. The Triforce from evil ones. Sweet walls, dude. That's right. The Temple of Time is the entrance through the which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need... Oh, I did not mean to skip all of that. Well, fuck me. The Ocarina of Time. Sorry for... I did not mean to fucking skip that. Did you understand well the story I just told you? Yes. I also wouldn't want to, I want to stop cussing as much. I need to stop. I have a tendency to cuss. That's great! I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. That's lovely. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds. I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? Yes, why not? He's so short. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. Huh? What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning yet. Dot, 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 yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it. It was a prophecy. But I can't sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be something... Must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world! Link, now, we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. 
I don't believe you. Thank you. I, I am afraid. I have a feeling that that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power, but it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does and then defeat him. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. You received Zelda's letter. Wow, this letter has Prince Zelda Ref. Send it to see you and show it to with a C. I mean, select item. Put it in your... I get it. It's a letter. Sweet. Alright, so now we have to find the other two spiritual stones. Who are you? Your eyes are red. And you have some sort of white eyelashes. Or makeup, I don't know. I am Impa of the Sheikans. I am responsible for protecting the Prince Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big and new adventure, aren't you? My role in the prince's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played the song, this song for Prince Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is a mysterious power in these notes. Now, listen carefully. What a beautiful song. <laughs> you played Zelda's Lullaby. Uh, she's like, so surprised, like, I learned a song, man. I mean, it's only six notes, which of all those six, the three are the same, but. There will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. Oh, I forgot to do something. Well, I don't even forget, I mean, so, um, we're not really going to be... Okay, I'll explain in a second. Let me just read this cutscene right here. I'll read what she has to say. You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is a death mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of the death mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up to Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help you prove your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the spirit with the stones. All right, we're counting on you. Boop and then she gone. All right, so um. I'm just going to explain right now. Uh, this episode is going to be uh, not really a main story episode. I'm going to be doing some other stuff. First of all, we're going to be doing we're going to be going to a long, long ranch before the uh, day actually ends. Because what we need to do there, we need to uh, get Epona song, and we're going to get a bottle. Because that bottle is going to be useful in the future. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using the. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm going to be uh, doing all the uh, bugs thing to get this, uh, the golden uh, sculptures. I mean, I was thinking if I should do a hundred percent run. But I've never done one, and I'm, I, I, don't, I don't know if I, if I should do it. Uh, got some rupees here. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see. But most likely, I'm not going to. Uh, just since I just want to enjoy the game. Uh, so, yeah. So this is Long Long Ranch. Here's where uh, you found... This is where uh, Milan and uh, Talon live. One of, my, one of my favorite areas of the game. It's so peaceful. Right now, right now, as a kid, it's just so peaceful. And the songs are so... The music is just really... Uh, I don't know. I don't know the word. I guess peaceful, I guess calming. I don't know. So what you want to do is you want to go inside a little um, ranch here. A little, um, I guess there's running, where all the horses are. And find the one girl. The one girl. And you'll talk to her. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? <laughs> dad came home in a hurry after you found him. Oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse. Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? And she runs away because she hates you. <laughs> okay, I'll just go away. It seems like Epona... Okay, well, that's... 
happen? My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing it together. You have to pull out your ocarina. Oh, cute ocarina. Are you... Oh, oh cute ocarina. Are you going to play the song with the ocarina? I guess so. Okay, this is the song. I really don't know how she has an... I, I don't know what she's playing it on. That is Epona song. BT dubs. I think it's a... It's the it's either number three or number four uh, number fourth most non most known song in the Legend of Zelda series. Like like songs like because of course everybody knows the uh, theme you know but uh, like, like the overworld theme song but uh like songs oh there's a howl uh like the song I think number one is Song of Storms and then number two is uh either Song of Healing or, or Serious uh, or Lost Woods. Okay okay okay. I think that's it. You just talk to her, she just rambles about. The opponent is just going to fight her boy. That's it. Alright, so now we have a little mini game we have to do. Can I? Can I? Okay, let's go that way. Um, inside um, Talon's house, uh, like in the house, in the actual ranch house, he is going to be sleeping, and we're going to have to uh, find some chicken, I believe. We're going to have to. Uh, he's going to be like, okay, if you found. I think, if you, I think you have to find three specific chicken, chickens, and like there's no, like, there's no difference. Like, See, oh my god. Alright. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Huh? I'm awake already? What? Well, I'll be. If it ain't the forest kid from the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. It took me some doing, but I finally got Malin back in a good mood. So, what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands, you say? Well, how about a little game? These three cook cook I don't know how to say that word. Cuckoos. Hi, I have... Here are special super cocos. Cocos. I am going to throw these cocos into the, into that their gaggle of normal cocos. If you can pick out these three special birds from among the normal cocos within the time limit, I'll give you something good. So it's ten rupees. You have thirty seconds. So, so there's no way of telling where they are. So you have to like pick up. All right, got one of them. Nope. Got two. Grab it. Nope. Yes! That was pretty good. That was pretty good for a um, random minigame. Sweet. Now he's gonna give us a... Um... I guess I am... Oh, um, I forgot to read it. Oh, I'm proud to present to you a sample of our very own lawn lawn milk. You'll be energized the moment you drink it. After you drink it, you can bring back the bottle and buy a refill anytime a refill anytime you want. So she's gonna give us the uh, long long milk, and uh, I think this restores your health. I'm pretty sure it does that. Uh, but if you drink the milk, uh, it actually will empty the uh, bottle. So that's that. All right, so I think we're done over here. Now we need to go back to hmm. We can either go back to the Lost Woods or we can either go back to Hyrule Castle. I want to go back to Hyrule Castle because there is a couple mini games I want to play. I want to get some heart pieces. So, oh, I'm not gonna make it, am I? I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. Damn it! Am I gonna make it? I'm not gonna make it, am I? I made it, sweet. Alright, so I'm gonna cut that footage right there because I really don't wanna waste time just me running around the field. So, uh, first of all, we have to make it nighttime, and for that, we have to. Oh, a lot of people talking. Um, actually, I wanna do the, uh, the mini. Where's the shooting gallery? It's over here. Right here. Oh, I, I bumped into that. So this is the uh, precision game, and now I'm, not, I'm gonna say I'm probably gonna end up cutting this because I'm not uh, I'm not really good shooting. Do you want to play a game for twenty rupees per play? Sure. Okay, this is the game. So oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, so I'm pretty bad at aiming, so it just I'm really bad at aiming, guys. I'm just letting you guys know. Yeah, I missed already. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, wow, that was actually not that bad. So we're gonna get the, um, uh, Deku Seed's bullet back. We can now carry up to 40 bullets. Um, that was actually not that bad. I thought it was gonna take me way more tries than that, but, uh, it was pretty good. Alright, so now we have to wait for nighttime, I think. Do I? Yeah, I do. So we're gonna go over here. And actually, I forgot to get a golden skull, uh, skull chill over here. I have to bump into this tree and you'll get a... Where is it? There it is. And of course I can hurt. There you go. I think I have four now. But again, I'm not going for all, all hundred of them, so don't expect me to do that. Alright, now it's nighttime. So, um, find the white dog right there and if you touch him, he'll follow you. That took me a long time. So you're gonna have to get the white dog that's behind the little, uh, the little, sh the little, uh, poster right there, little, uh, I guess, shop. Um, and you're gonna recognize, it's, it's in the corner of the, uh, market, and it's gonna be, there's gonna be a, a, a man standing on top of the little, uh, stand there. So just come back to her, and you'll talk to her, and she'll be like, Richard, this is my little... <laughs> that was hilarious, I'm sorry, <laughs> that's really stupid. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get a piece of heart. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm mashing B, so I'm sorry if I'm skipping some, uh, I guess... Not really cutscenes, but I guess I'm skipping dialogue. I'm so I'm sorry about that. But uh, there you go. We got a piece of art, and that's I think that's about it uh, in the market. I believe so. Yeah, I think that's about it. Okay, so now what we? Oh, can I not leave? I can't leave until it's daytime, huh? And we have to make it morning. So let's go make it morning, guys. Alright, so I'm gonna meet you back, guys, back when it's morning. All right, it's finally morning, and we're back. So now that it's morning, we can actually go back to uh, Hyrule Field. And now we're gonna get to the uh, Lost Woods, to the Last of Woods. All right, so now we're back to Kukuri Forest, and I actually skipped all the uh, traveling part. Um, so uh, yeah, sorry for the, just the, the random cuts, but I really don't want to waste any time again uh, just running around. So what you're gonna do? Go to uh, you want to go back to Kukuri Forest, go up the little uh, vine, uh, the little the vines there. You want to go up, and you're gonna see this big trunk of wood right here. Now, this is the Lost Woods, and it's a really interesting place where you can actually get lost, I guess you could say that. So now, first of all, we're going to take a hard right, right here, and we're going to see uh, that little, uh, little I guess, target thing, and we're going to aim at it, and we're going to try to get precision in the middle, like that. And you're going to get three of those, and that little Deku Scrub is going to pop out of the corner right there, and he's going to, like, waggle his way around, his way back, or, like, in front of us. Cool, you're great. You scored three perfect bull eyes, bullseyes. I have to give a neat present to such a wonderful person. Please take it. And he's gonna give us, uh, to my to my knowledge, our last upgrade for our uh, slingshot. So now we can actually carry up to 50 bullets. So that's pretty sweet. Sorry for that random cut. I was I was gonna play a, mi uh, a mini game over there, but I forgot that we need to get serious song. But uh, we're gonna get serious song, and then we're gonna go play the mini game. But we're gonna do that in the next episode, guys. So. Uh, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, if you did, <laughs> if you did, be sure to leave a like below. And if you're enjoying the series, please leave a comment below. I really appreciate you guys' comments. And uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye.